Can he say this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool? Yeah. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. And say, watch this. Watch, watch this or listen. Wa- wa- watch this and listen. Or listen. Or, w- watch this or listen. Or do both. Or both at the same time. Finesse. Sundaycool.com. It's our brand new website. You got to check it out. Right, Josh? You got to check it out. It makes, it's the best. We work so hard on making a new website so you, it's easier for you to order t-shirts. Guys, this brand new website is so easy to use. You can browse thousands of our customizable templates that you can use for your group, your business. It's really great. It sure is, Andy. And guess what? We have a new Ninjas and Butterflies page smack dab on the new website where you can see all of our latest episodes, news updates, and you can even see all the merch right there on sundaycool.com. Also, all of the other videos and comedy sketches that we do, it's all available there, and you get to learn more about who Sunday Cool is and why it's the greatest company in the world. We forgot to mention that there's also a new customer portal for all new and existing customers to use on the website. Super easy to use and you can track everything, your order progress. Progress? Order progress? Process. Process. And progress on the process. So go check it out, sundaycool.com. Sundaycool.com. Boop! Hey, Hey, if you were uh, selling hot dogs at a stadium, what would be your hot dog yell? Hot dog! Get your hot dog! That's really good. Willie, go ahead. Everyone's got to do one. Hot dogs! I got hot dogs! <laughs> it, sounds like you, it, sounds, it sounds like I you... I got hot dogs! It sounds like you were surprised that you found hot dogs. Whoa! Hot dogs? I got hot dogs! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, go. Hot dog! That's good. That's good. That's good. What about you? That's good. <laughs> I don't know what to like. do. Go, go funny or just go loud? Hot dog! Yeah, Dang, I'm, dude, I I'm heard buying that outside it. of my There we go. Headphones. I'm buying yours. Hot dog! Hot dog! As soon as you said that, I thought of a line from a movie that's not in English, so I don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then movie? I also seeing the movie on the screen over there mm-hmm. from um, uh, Shanghai Noon. Okay, yeah. Where they're like, uh, when they do the, p- 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 like the bowing down, they're like, <laughs> Something like that. That sounds so fun. Hold on, I need to. F- I'll find out. I heard Ada's a big fan of Shanghai Noon. She is. Yeah, Ada. Yeah, she was talking about it, wasn't she? Shanghai Noon. Shanghai Noon. Yeah. Say Hi Moon. Oh, Remember? you told me this yeah, joke yeah. yesterday. I said the Shanghai Noon thing. Yeah, you're like, is you, are, you say, are you saying Shanghai Noon? <laughs> Bro, you're I, slipping. Because she said, "Say hi." She was saying, "Say hi, Moon." Oh yeah, yeah. And you're like, "Shanghai Noon." I had no idea you knew about uh, Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson's uh, filmography. This is great, great movie. <laughs> jiao zhu, jiao zhu, jiao zhu, jiao zhu. Well, Something like that. Well, we just and they got, like do that. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. But I know I've we never, just got canceled. Never seen the film. I probably did say it correctly. You probably did. But it's like an explicit thing. It's just like someone's just like, no, 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 quit saying it. Sorry. Um, hey, don't cancel me. Hey, please don't hey, cancel me. Hey. hey, if you are going to cancel me, I have some more things to say. <laughs> I'm going to double down. Bingo, 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 bingo. Cancel me for that. You can't. Cancel me for this. Because I just you spoke can. a blessing over your children. Boom. Prank. <laughs> What's up? Can we just do that for the whole episode? And just yeah, while they yeah, just yeah. say like, what? <laughs> it's just no. an hour and a half. <laughs> but, but okay, no, one, no one's fallen. <laughs> uh, we look and they're just gone. Yeah, just <laughs> um, would you like a little lift up to within the energy drink? Hey, Andy, pass me a magic mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, shut up. <laughs> you want one, Andrew? Yeah. I'm struggling today. I already drank one jo- before. Because Josh had to get ready. Dude. And that's why you can speak in other languages. That was accurate. M- 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 magic mind. Magic mind. You can catch it like you're Spider-Man. You're not even showing the label. <laughs> <laughs> magic mind. Magic mind. Honestly, the best mind for your magic. Is this the label? It's, no. It's like an art piece all around. Which side says magic mind? This one. 
then that's the label. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the whole thing's the label. Um, I, I was watching that show that's poison last night. And that's the label. And they, they were drinking these on that show last night. And they kept saying, I'm sober curious. And I'm trying this out because. Who said this? That terrible show that I watch. Vanderpump? <laughs> yeah. Van, you could say it. You've mentioned it multiple times. <laughs> you have. <laughs> hey, no, but Magic Mind, they've sent us a couple boxes of this stuff, and we're addicted and obsessed, and I feel that if we stop drinking... We will die. We'll die. Because yep. the the increase of brain power is fascinating. <laughs> In fact, I can speak three different languages now after taking that. All because of Magic Mind? Mm -hmm. Let me hear it. Which one do you want to hear first? Ger I'm going to guess the three that you know. Okay. German. Reichen David Deutsch, Dart of Mofar. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do uh, Mongolian. Dude, I All understood right. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, New Jersey. Yeah, it's a win -a -win -a -boo. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow, That's the power of magic, magic mind. All thanks to magic, <laughs> magic mind. <laughs> Just, you could easily hold a bottle, but we're going to edit one in. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to Magic Mind. need to put a thing on there. Hey, thanks, Magic Mind, for sending us that stuff. Yeah, we love gifts. Yeah. If send us more. Gifts. Send us more. Please. More. It's so healthy. It's so healthy. It's got lion's mane mushrooms in it. Lion's mane mushroom. Ah, yeah. So the mane of the lion. Read the ingredients. It has organic ceremonial grade matcha. Don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Yeah. Agave. Passion fruit, natural vanilla, red beet, potassium. But then it has their patented blend, huh. olive oil, ashwagandha. Something I can't pronounce. A lot of things I can't pronounce. Orphan tears. Hey, that's a big <laughs> deal that it says natural vanilla. You guys see where they get unnatural vanilla from? Imitation? Oh, uh, beaver butt or something, yeah. right? Sorry. Beaver gland, yeah. Yeah, yeah we talked about that a long time ago. That was one of our first videos ever with me. Same Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. wasn't even on the podcast. No, it, it was, our, was uh, our marketing video, like my video. first week here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where that bit of information Oh, wait, don't we have a promo from? code that we can use? For it's what? a Ninja 20? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what. <laughs> Don't we? I didn't even know that. Yeah, <laughs> let's check. Hold on, Magic Mind. Hold, Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Wait, please. Wait. The only thing that scares me about it is it's got organic cordyceps in it, which is healthy because that's a mushroom. But it's also the mushroom, the fungus in Last of Us that attaches to the brain. I'm pretty sure Magic Mind loves hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we're giving honest reviews here, and Lily's slightly afraid that she's going to turn into a mushroom person now. It's really healthy for you, but it also is turning people into zombies. Not real, not in real life. <laughs> Want to make that clear? So if you use the code Ninja Twenty on Magic Mind dot, we should really have figured this out before. <laughs> that, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. Is that Ninja Twenty? Uh, yeah, 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 Ninja Twenty, yeah, for sure. Ninja Twenty Magic Mind yeah. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> they are probably not going to send us any more of these. I'll put, I'll put the website right here. Yeah, yeah. But listen, guys, we really want some, so please go buy it and use that promo code so that they continue to send it to us. I know. Like, for wow, real. So nice. It actually works, though. No, it That's for real thing. does. And yeah, I don't go home feeling like all strung out on caffeine. Yeah, That's if, we're, if like we're doing it. honest feedback, I yeah. don't enjoy the flavor of matcha. I don't enjoy anything. Like, I literally tried wheatgrass last week for the first time. I almost threw up. Yeah, but yeah. It little the, the effects of it are worth it. The effects sure. they say pair it with a cup of coffee and it amplifies your coffee. Yeah, your caffeine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like the flavor. <gasps> I like the flavor too. I love matcha though. Speaking That's of why. flavor, do you want a song? <gasps> yes. Ugh, song. Yes. Please. Yes, please. No. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, yes please. Josh. No, no. Yes, no. please, sir. Josh. Yes. My husband. No. Your, yes, please, Josh. My husband's. Sorry. Oh, so, man. Someone called the marriage therapist. <laughs> <coughs> no respect in this house. No respect. Ain't got no respect. Hey, no respect. <laughs> That's sounds respect. Like sounds like you're, sounds like you're powering up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to find the clip, and you're going to have to put it there. We'll put it. The audio clip right here. That was dead on. <laughs> it'll be face? it'll be there if he actually <laughs> finds the clip and sends it to me. I will. For what? 
Jojo, 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 Jojo. That one, I was like, what audio? There's someone out there watching who's like, I know exactly what you're talking you're about. You're killing with our like 0-1% audience right now. It's yeah. so niche. They're crushing. Um, <clears throat> ready? He's quoting Shanghai! <laughs> Mom, get in here! <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he said it so perfectly. Oh man, it's perfect. All right, <laughs> let's watch the, it again. The whole family does it yeah. with me. Get a video of your grandma doing that, please. <laughs> please. Um, and tag us, Ninjas and Butterflies. <laughs> no context, just like, but the whole grandma's going, ah, Zoo. All right, ready? <clears throat> are, you, are you emotionally prepared? <clears throat> I. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. Yorry, 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 yorry. Alright, here we go. Ninjas are butterflies. Episode 80, what a surprise. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? They're not a vegetable. Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? They're not a vegetable. What about grapes? That is a fruit. What about pineapple? That is a fruit. What about an onion? That is not a fruit, that is a vegetable. Good to know. What about a potato? I don't know. What about a corn? Yes, it is. <laughs> what about another corn vegetable? Yeah. yeah. What Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? Did you know tomatoes are a fruit? They're not a vegetable. Ninjas are butterflies. Tomatoes are fruits, not vegetables. Tomatoes are a fruit, not a vegetable. Yeah. Mangoes are also a fruit. Ninjas are not a fruit. They are butterflies. Ninjas are not a fruit. Ninjas are not a fruit. Ninjas are not a fruit. They are butterflies. Ninjas are butterflies. Episode 80, what a surprise. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Right. Tomatoes are a fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. So is a cucumber. Apples no are a fruit. The They're cucumbers from are a fruit. They look like are pickles. What a surprise. I do Pineapples not get are stay in my mouth and hurts right now. Wow. We connected at the end. <laughs> we just need to look at each other now. <laughs> <a> deep eye <laughs> contact. We were, that was good. We had to feel it. Yeah, that was good. That was that was excellent. What do you think. think? You lost the cursiveness <laughs> toward the end. That's all right. Andy's initial cursive was so cringe. I know. I was, erupted I, 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 his full dude, body. He was doing it earlier today. I'm like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what was there? There I'm was a word. Dude, cursive. You said it was a, it was a location. Oh, Abby Kai Kai. We were talking yeah. about Albuquerque. Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, we just named name in different places. I forget. It was good. It was good. But speaking of naming different pr- uh, places, everyone be quiet. I want to take that from the top one more time? No. Okay. This is becoming my hey! least favorite part. Your least or your most? Least. I don't care, but please be quiet. Because this is a real question. Okay? Okay? Okay. Today's question, Lily... Andy, Andrew, Josh. <laughs> Today's question sent in by a viewer. Shh. 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 Today's question sent in by a viewer. Should mansplaining be outlawed? 
Whoa. Should mansplaining be outlawed? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I feel like there was more deeper to that question, but I think it's a pretty black and white. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think it should be outlawed. Yeah, for sure. Lily? Um, no, I don't think so. She doesn't seem like she's fully getting it. Let me break this down <laughs> for you real quick. So, Andy, help me with mansplaining basically is this concept of where... Well, I mean, maybe she doesn't understand the full yeah, question. Like, gotta, out, like, okay, so outlaw. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's start so, with outlaw. So, like, like outlaw, like, yeah, you know, yeah. that's like maybe not a term, but like, it's like, so say you have, I have a quarter and you have a quarter. And a which, is, is which is 50 cents together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so That's like it. you have 25, you have to, and the, co yeah, the yeah. coin machine has to have 50 cents. So you right. come over and you steal mine. Now stealing is illegal. It's outlawed in this. Okay. Okay. You, you go outside okay, okay. So she gets, she gets Why that. Why are you getting yeah. like all no, okay. no, no, but basically Just the whole, uh, relax. so we, we covered <laughs> the law part. Yeah. Um, the mansplaining part is basically the I whole concept. No, no, I don't. What do you think? What do you, let her, give her a chance. What do you think mansplaining is? What you're doing right now? No, see, I, she she doesn't get it. She's no, not she, getting she, it. You're not fully getting it. It's basically it's the idea of like a man like over explaining something that almost like belittles women in a sense. You yeah, know? absolutely. So I think you nailed that right on yeah, the head. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, we'll cover it later. Yeah, we'll cover it later. So I guess you guys heard heard it here first. We had to explain it all to Lily that we should outlaw mansplaining. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Did I do that right? I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I saw a uh, uh, husband, he tweeted out and he said, my wife asked me what mansplaining is and now I feel trapped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we explain that well though? I suppose. Yeah. We can circle back later and maybe we could build a graph or something. Yeah. Would that be helpful? Mm-hmm. I think so. I, reali um, I realize in these gaslighting segments that I should probably talk to you more often because <laughs> every podcast starts with me getting on the bandwagon against you. And it's like the first actual thing I've said to you all day. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, shut up. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> what, 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 what is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey look at we get look at what we got. We paid a lot of money for that. Really? No, it was free. <laughs> oh, I was wondering. Yeah, uh, one, one million subscribers, baby. We got the plaque. We got it. <laughs> Say congratulations to us. Thank. <laughs> I was about to thank them. No, and tell, then they're, they're like, no. But first, tell us how grateful you are for this podcast. Uh, yeah, big thanks to all the fans, man. This is awesome. All one million of yes. 18 months, basically, and we hit it, dude. Do this. No, Pat. Oh. Well, the, there was that old com, com, uh, comic, stand-up comic. His name's Andrew Dice Clay, and he would smoke a cigarette. And you'd, after he'd like, say something really big, he would... He would take a cigarette and go like that. It's like, how is that cool? I don't know why that. I thought that was cool when I was a kid. My parents love Andrew Dice Clay. He's crazy. Have you seen what he does on TikTok now? No. It's the funniest thing because he's like, he's 60s. You yeah. know, he's an older guy. He walks through um, the city of New York with his big old Elvis glasses still. And he just goes up and he starts filming somebody. He's like, do you want a picture? <laughs> he's like, I, 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 I got time for a picture. And he's just, they're like, who are you? He's like, oh, I thought you wanted a picture with me. I, I, uh, Andrew, I, I, who is this? It's, it's a, he's a big, he was huge. Yeah. He's a huge stand up comedian. Okay. Back in like the eighties and nineties. But now he's literally just going up and making <laughs> hilarious content for somebody his age. I'm like, that's such a great, like Gen Z thing. Like the yeah. uncomfortable catching them in the moment or something. That's funny. Yeah. Speaking of eighties and nineties though. What happened? I saw a video again. I do not know the credibility of this. <laughs> But I did see a video. Okay. And it was this man. I think it was filmed. It, it looked like what they're wearing in the video quality, like either late 90s or early 2000s. But he was a German man, this older German man. And it was like a, it looked like the early version of like a TED talk, but it was like this whole room of people. He's speaking in German and there's a translator. But this man is an artist. And he said that um, years ago, that Disney paid him sixty million dollars to go back into all the old films and draw or paint in lines in the sky. 
What? Why? Yeah. Like to make trails. it like, to make it more. Oh, it happened. It's been happening forever. It's a normal thing. No way. That's, that's really. That's this what is, he said in front of like three hundred people. You see the video? Yeah, I see. Golly, it. dude, that's wild. Yeah, that's I mean, wild. it would make total sense. It's all digitized now. But like, why would Disney like care? Care? Yeah. Maybe because, because they're owned by. I mean, look what they own. The United, United Nations? Nations. What? I.e. BlackRock? BlackRock? Vanguard? Vanguard? They're other? controlling us all? They Are other words? Huh? They own Disney? I don't know. I mean, Disney Black owns... Rock, no, yeah. BlackRock owns, like, the majority of everything or has stake, like, BlackRock, Vanguard. Someone did, a the, like, a huge breakdown mm-hmm. of... I actually, I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to misexplain it so poorly. I'll talk about it. Ah, come on. <clears throat> he basically is like, he um, was like, okay, if BlackRock, Vanguard, and I forget the other big um, company. It's similar to BlackRock. I always think that that's a big must fight about it. Black, Blackstone you're thinking of? Maybe. Like, yeah, it's Blackstone, but it's not that. It's, they make it's good another, riddles. Yeah. Um, it's, a, the, it's a ship is a logo. Liberty, 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 liberty. That's not that either. But he was like, he started noticing, he's like looking into who owns the majority of stock and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like Vanguard owns a big portion of stock in BlackRock. BlackRock or owns a big portion of stock in Vanguard. But these companies own a lot of stock in State every... State Street. That's it. The um, whole world. <clears throat> but he like broke it down... And like he, someone on Reddit did these graphs of like, okay, if this person owns this, and like he would color it out with like a black box. Yeah. And basically, at the end, there's one overarching company power at B that owns ninety nine percent of everything, U S wise. Like it's like they own BlackRock, they own Vanguard, like it's like this huge, like they own something. They're, 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 they're the umbrella that owns yeah. it all. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's all just one big monopoly then. And they own us. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much am I? I saw this TikTok. Or no, someone on Instagram sent me this reel, which I want to ask our Alexa to do it. You guys have Alexa? We do. Watch you know this. how dangerous that is? Actually, no, I don't want to say it. Because then, Alexa, turn China off. Nice. Alexa, turn China on. Okay. Look at that. China. Why All our did cameras you name should it shut China? down. <laughs> we didn't. Someone else set it up. And no, I, d- it I did. Oh, you did? <laughs> because there was like, um, Dalton was like, what do you want to name it? And I'm like, I don't know. Something funny. So, and that was just. Funny. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was doing my Trump impression that day. So I was just like, call it China. <laughs> turn China off. <laughs> That's good. Um, but yeah, they're asking it about like the your birth certificate and stuff and how. We talked about it briefly before a while ago, but like some, maybe not on the podcast, I forget. Mm-hmm. But basically there's something with the, like the U.S. Treasury or like Federal Reserve or something, like your birth certificate. What's that buzz? What's that buzz? Buzzing. Buzz. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Andy, no. <laughs> um, basically when you're born that it's like a, um, it's like a U.S. has stock on you. So it's like your birth certificate represents your stock within the nation or something like Worth. that. Yeah. And then she asked the question, like, when you die, how much can the U.S. collect off of your birth certificate? Mm-hmm. Like it from said, whom? Itself? Yeah. It's like, or like, it's like a stock holding option or something weird like that. No. Explaining it so terribly right now. Yeah. But it said, like, basically, when you die, the U.S. can collect $100 million from your birth certificate. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. I think hey. it's a metaphor. A metaphor for what? Your value as a U.S. citizen and what you bring to the table. I'm well worth. Who who is paying out a hundred million dollars per birth certificate? <clears throat> what? Can I cash it in like the DMV? <laughs> I just bring my own birth certificate. I like a hundred million dollars. I'd like to turn this in, please. I don't understand. I'm gonna do more research next next episode. I'll oh. come with a full breakdown. Someone also mentioned that you need to do a deeper dive into the Federal Reserve. Yeah, because they're like you're literally touching the tip of it, and it's like there's so much more. So I'm like, okay, I'm curious. I don't know what's out there. I'll go. So I'll do that with the birth certificate thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Disney, though, did you hear about Raglan Road? 
What? No, what? Someone died at Raglan. <gasps> what? Of what? Yeah, literally a di- um, dairy and nut allergy. It was a doctor. Great. And they like confirmed like four or five times like, hey, this can't, like we can't, like she's like, soup, it's super bad. And uh, they ate, they they rest assured like, hey, nothing's wrong. And then suddenly Dead. she's uh, she separates from her mom to go shopping, ends up in Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood theater, um, Planet Hollywood, and literally dies. Whoa. Having from an allergy attack. Isn't that crazy? Dang. Disney, I, I don't know, man. That's nuts. Disney that's took horrible. her out. That's what I say. Oh. That's too soon. Sorry. Oh. Too many doctors. What'd you say? That's nuts. <laughs> don't cry over spilled milk. <laughs> Okay, my turn. I want to talk about Disney. That's dairy sad. <laughs> What's up? I want to talk about Disney. Okay. My hairdresser, Debbie Chin, shout out Debbie, was talking to me last time that she was there. I was there. And she was, um, she has a conspiracy about Disney that she has come up with on her own. Okay. And I was curious because I feel like when people open the can of Disney, they immediately go to like child trafficking and like dark stuff like that. Okay. But she instead believes that Disney is the ultimate doomsday prepper. Mm. And she indicated this to me. And at first I'm like, I don't know. But living with the land, that was the ride she was first talking about. She's like, why is there an actual team of scientists involved on this project? Back there with beakers and test tubes and stuff like that. And bags of seeds and all of it. She's like, it's an attraction at Disney. But what are they really trying to accomplish here? And then she's talking about all the acreage that's untouched at Disney that they have yet to develop. You know, she's like, a company like that, like, they're making decisions. They're building new parks, you know, this, that, whatever. What's all this acreage covering? But the part that really got me was when she was talking about the Star Wars hotel. Because, you know, they built it and then abandoned it. Like, okay. they just said the project became too expensive. And so we're not. I didn't know. Yeah. They built it and they're like, this is too expensive. We're not going to open it to the public. Mm-hmm. And she's like, it's Star Wars. Yeah. You're not going to fill that thing for 10 years to come. Yeah. Can I add so to your conspiracy theory? So what's the theory behind that, though? That it's, well, it's all indoor, and it's a simulator. It's a simulator, so they don't have, like, windows and stuff like that, and okay. it's, like, an all-indoor thing. So oh, so they're saying there's something in there, but they're just saying, like, well, oh, we, it's... They're saying it's, like, a... I think she's suggesting it's, like, a silo, like, a protected... Because they don't have windows. It's supposed to be a space simulator is your window. Mm. Weird. So it could be, like, silo. Oh. Can I add to your conspiracy? Yeah. As you were saying that, of, like, the beakers and, like, experiments and all the stuff that they're doing yes <clears throat> the nazi scientists that came over here during pro- uh, project paperclip the Werner van braun mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um he was the one that was a rocket scientist that got us ultimately to the moon yeah maybe Possibly. um but he was good friends with disney uh-oh and in fact he was on his show a lot what show the imagine whatever this Walt disney show that he used to do oh Talking about like Epcot and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah. Werner Van Braun was like appeared a lot on that thing. Interesting. Uh-oh. And Werner Van Braun did a lot of not cool things. Yeah. In how Nazi much, I mean, Germany. Can we look up how much Disney is worth? I mean, like that's, um, I'll look 20 it up. 20 kajillion dollars. How much is Disney worth? Let's see here. About Nazis. <laughs> that movie. Speaking of Nazis. Yes. What movie? The two movie we were two watching. Billion. Um, what is it called? How much? Two hundred two billion. <gasps> That's a lot. You know they're not in it just for entertainment. There's got to be other stuff, obviously. So <coughs> scary. What were we so, saying? Sorry. What movie? Well, that movie that we were watching, the A twenty four movie. What's it called? Oh, oh Zone of Interest. Yeah. You watched it. We, we watched half of it. Yeah, half of it. It's painful, dude. I can't yeah, wait to watch. Rough. I'm watching it this week. It's painful. I can't even imagine. The, ah. t- can I tell you about? I don't know if you saw this part, but. The way they filmed it, it's the real house, mm-hmm. right? Oh, wow. And they just put cameras up all in the house so they didn't have a camera For crew. the filming of it. For the filming of it. Mm-hmm. And so the actors were saying, when you were in a shot alone, you were truly alone. There wasn't a sound guy or a cameraman or anything like that. And they yeah, said they rigged up so the whole house eerie. with like basically like hidden cameras. Yeah. So it's like if they're... Film, they're like really playing it out. You're immersive in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh man. But it's crazy because it's it's the juxtaposition between like it's ducks in positions, storybook, fairy tale, family life, like a family of like six kids or whatever, and like rearing children and like babies and stuff, and then just over the wall. Yeah. So it's like it is just a normal story, but there's there's a heaviness, obviously. Yeah. Heavy heaviness. Yeah. Because like they'll be having like a you know like one of your normal like situations with the family, and it's like mm. you know sunny. They're playing at the lake, but then they're screaming. Mm. It's just like hint, 
thing of screaming in the background. I'm literally going to watch that this weekend all alone in my house. Just like, I'm going to feel that movie. That's yeah. going to be a tough one. And then he's like, his wife's out in the parlor room talking, <laughs> like bragging to her girlfriends about like her new lifestyle, how she has like this farmhouse or whatever. Her husband's taking an office meeting in his home office mm -hmm. and they're choosing out their chambers, their gas chambers. Jeez. They're going to put in at the. It's terrible. Is it spoken in English? No. no. All German. No, it's all German. Yeah. yeah. Intense. Wow. What Golly. were you going to say? No, I was looking at the subsidy value granted by local, uh, local like tax breaks for Disney because I'm, I have a follow-up question after that. Okay. My, my bet was, let just, me just ask it first. Uh, What's a subsidy mean? <laughs> yeah, that was, I had to do the same research. You guys think I'm smart. I just disappear from the podcast for like half an hour and research and then regurgitate what no, I read. No one thinks you're smart. I know. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no don't do that. A no. subsidy is a sum of money granted by the government or a public body to oh, okay. assist in an industry or like business. Subsidized. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be the same word. It would. But the adjective of it, <laughs> the verb of it, right? You're subsidizing someone. That's a verb. That's a so, verb. So subsidy is, is the, the noun. noun. And subsidy is a city for submarines. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to make or one Or a day. city made out of subs. Yes. Like hey. the hoagies. Yes. Eat fresh. <laughs> But they were, they've been given $2.5 billion in state or local subsidies, winning 252 awards. And so- I Why do they need to be subsidized? Yeah. For why, do, why do big banks need to be subsidized? Yeah. We need, we need, we need help. I'm banks, just saying subsidize as much as possible <laughs> to show that I knew what it meant the whole time. Can we clip that and make sure that's in the clip whenever we- I'm going to subsidize my mouth with water. <laughs> Yeah, if you're like an economics major, please explain all of this in detail in the comments so we understand it fully. But I think that banks need to be subsidized so that the government has some kind of insight into what's because of 08. Yeah. The recession of 08. Yeah. Because they were just lending too much. Nobody had any idea. And then kaput. Yeah. Speaking of kaput, you guys hear about that bill that's being or maybe it was passed or it's trying to be passed in Tennessee right now? Mm -mm. regarding lettuce uh oh no don't know this dude i try i look at me do you think i'm reading news about lettuce this it's this bill is called uh oh, geez <laughs> give me a yeah. shot c-e-p-i-c-k-y kepki sub kepki sepiki sepiki subsidize subsidize mm. the subsidized sebeki specky <laughs> go, black, go blackly um <laughs> Basically, this is it's really terrifying. Okay. Okay. But he was out there talking about um at the University of California, they have figured out a way to basically put human vaccines within vegetables. Why? Dude. And Why? so the whole argument was like, well, how much would how many like he's saying for instance like tomatoes, how they're putting in tomatoes and lettuce and stuff. How many tomatoes would you have to eat before you We're potentially vaccine. overdose on the vaccine? And so the whole bill is basically trying to label different vegetables, which ones have vaccines and which ones don't. So that people are allowed to choose because apparently if they're trying to roll it out without telling anyone <gasps> the difference of this one has a vaccine and this one does not have a vaccine. What are we doing? I hope you're reading those books you bought. Like, why is this? Bro, I started my garden a, yesterday. Did you? Why is this even a conversation? I don't know. Why Stop putting we, vaccines in vegetables, quit please. Quit touching the food. I just, just the food's fine. That's wait, why I don't eat vegetables. There's no way that would ever be legal because there's a religious <sighs> exemption in this country for vaccines. There I, are religions in this country that believe that you're you not, can't be vaccinated. I'm blood just you're not, saying that's you're not obligated to purchase it. Yeah, if, I'm just saying if they could do it sneakily, they'll do it sneakily. Yeah, they probably have already been doing it, Bro. and now they're just kind of like, wait a second. Um, yeah, we just figured out how to do this. Yeah. And like, just, oh, well, you got to let us know which ones you're putting in. They're like, let us. Yeah, make a let us let know. us let us know. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it scares me. <laughs> but I mean, you think about it, like all the cancer causing stuff, they definitively know this does give you cancer and yeah. they just put a little thing on it and they're like, who cares? You know, it doesn't give you cancer. Magic mind. Thanks, magic. Mind. <laughs> Go to magicmind.com and use the code ninjas 20 ninjas no, 20. No beaver, butt. I Do you, don't even know the discount. No, it's probably 20%, I imagine. It's probably 99% off. <gasps> it's not. Uh, <laughs> um, did you guys hear about what Wendy's doing? 
Wendy or Wendy's? Wendy's. Oh, went. Don't get me started on Wendy. <laughs> Golly, we'll talk about her. That woman. Don't, don't do that lady. Um, but you haven't heard about what Wendy's is doing with their price gouging? Oh no. yeah, yeah. What? They're price hiking uh, oh, like uh, uh, up to like a dollar or two dollars or something uh, during lunch and busy hours. Every menu item is going to have a price increase during busy hours. So that means if you're in line, the longer you wait, the more you have to pay. Yeah. Idiots. I mean, how like do you? They're, they're <laughs> literally doing. We? They're doing it supply and it's, demand model. I just, but it's not I don't even. Get it. It's not even their fault. You can't pay people as much as you're getting paid. I made seven fifty an hour when I worked fast food, and that's why you could charge five dollars for a Whopper value meal. But yeah, they can help it. Don't do it during your busiest hours. That makes no sense. Then, Incentivize yeah. people to go during the less busy hours. Yeah. Don't you, you know? think that let's talk about supply and demand that if you became a restaurant that served really good food at the cheapest price possible, that you would in turn sell more because people are like, let's go here. It's the cheapest place to eat and yeah. it's really good. Have you seen that? There's a Japanese guy who has like a hot dog stand. I watched this like documentary on him and he's had the same prices for over 30 years but he's like an artist with like how he cuts up the hot dogs and he's refused to raise his prices. And he's like, this is just what I do. I take good care of people and they respect Aww. me and come back because of this. And nice. I guarantee he gets tipped like crazy. Yeah, for sure. And it's like, it's got it goes a long way. He's got Shout a, out Costco. Yeah, for, for real, real dude. Dude. Those guys What's up with Costco? They won't raise the price on, is it just their hot dogs? Yeah, I, I want to find the quote <laughs> because the guy, the, like, guy the, yeah. the, the founder of Costco or something. Is it because of that guy? Yeah. He said, like... One sec, I got it. Yeah. He said... Uh, <laughs> um, oh, geez, that's not the one I was thinking of. He said, uh, I'm going to die. He said, uh, if you raise the price of the effing hot dog, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, yeah, that's that was it. Mr. Costco. <laughs> that said was, that to the hot dog guy? Yeah. The guy, yeah the no, dude, no, the, just the... The, <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese hot dog guy. <laughs> Wait, I'm if you, lost. If you raise the price of this hot dog, Mr. Cartman, <laughs> I will kill you. No, we got we, two separate things now. That they was the Japanese hot dog. never spoken. Never. No. I'm talking about the Costco hot dog. <laughs> what did he say that? Let me mansplain this to you. It was like no, it was the it was the guy who like he's not in charge of the thing anymore, but he like he created Costco and new people are in charge and they were debating like he I think he's still on the board and stuff. Oh, okay. And so like when they were like, Hey, we're gonna raise the prices, he says, If you raise this price, I'm gonna kill you. Of the hot, hot dog, dog that you buy dog. At, at Costco. <laughs> not like a pack of hot dogs with the hot dog. No, the thing. Costco hot dog. Lily, okay, you no, never, now. Have you never had a Costco or Sam's Club hot dog? <laughs> never. Okay, so you're, yeah, right. you're missing you're out. Privileged. I've had the IKEA meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same, dude. I didn't know IKEA was a loop. The first time when we moved here, that's yeah, a maze, dude. And it I, freaks I, me. I out. told Paige, I was like, "Yeah, we'll just go in for a little we'll check on something," and then realize, no, you're committed to the entire yeah. adventure, dude. I get I'm, so claustrophobic in IKEA. Yeah, I don't like. Imagine it. going to IKEA and not knowing that the things are in different languages. Yeah. I walked in the Ikea and I was so confused. I literally felt like I was having a stroke for a second. I was just like, I just go like, cause it's in Swedish, right? It, it, yeah. took, it took me like 30 minutes. Cause I was just like walking. And then I was like, wait a minute, what is this? What the heck is a frugal bopler? It just looks like a broom. Yeah, it's, like, oh, it's a broom guys. It's a big um, typo. Do you see a uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic's take on Ikea? No. So he, just say? when he moved to LA, he like he's a soccer player, very very famous soccer player. That was his, he's not, the one that was not, confused. Not that famous. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he goes to the LA Galaxy, buys a huge house, nothing in it. The designer and the realtor they start talking, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll, you know, give us your card. We'll deck this thing out." He goes, "Just go to IKEA or however you actually say it." And he's yeah. like, "And they're like, rich people like you don't don't shop there." He's like, "Smart people do." Nice. And literally his mansion or was dumb Europeans out. Yeah. who can't spell a broom. <laughs> they spell it flobber globber. Yeah, you don't you know it's easier <laughs> just to say broom? Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you guys realize other people speak languages? That's dumb. <laughs> like, That's dumb. I mean just speak English. <laughs> Speak American. Oh man! Start trashing other other cultures just because their language is different. <laughs> I, don't, sounds, I don't. I don't get sounds it. Dumb. <laughs> what you just said. Speaking of dumb, did you guys uh, hear the story about Albert Einstein and the person he said the smartest person he ever met? His wife, Albert Einstein. 
No. He was I German. I doubt it. <laughs> no, so he had a chauffeur, and he referred to him as the smartest person he's ever met for this reason. When uh, he was touring and he was giving all these lectures, and um, he had to give this speech, he ended up getting really, really, really sick. And he was like, I can't go up. I can't give this lecture. And his chauffeur was like, I've been with you for years. I listen to you do this every night. Let me do it. And so he gives the speech, kills it. And then uh, at the very end of the thing, somebody asks this really complex question. Pretending to be Albert Einstein. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. pretending to be him. I'll take that clip and move it to the beginning <laughs> of the reel if we use it. Um, but uh, yeah, he's pretending to be him. This guy asks this question, like really complex question. And he's like, sir, that is such a simple question. Even my chauffeur can answer it. <laughs> and he literally points down at Albert Einstein. Einstein gets up and kills it and no one else that asked any questions. Is so funny. Now Man, that's he's a genius. smart. Comedic genius too. Hey. Hey. And some say that's the smartest type. Mm. Mm, I do. say that. I know I, I do. do. Wait what? a second. What? Are we smart? We're smart. <laughs> Who's funnier, me or Andy? Well, no, no one comments. comments. <laughs> Please like, don't hurt our feelings. Oh, my feelings are <laughs> Somebody said so. that the funnier the, you are, the more trauma you have. Oh. You do have a lot of trauma. <laughs> Andy, you are, in fact, very hilarious. <laughs> yes, You're I definitely do. funnier. <laughs> well, yep. Speaking of trauma. Yeah. We got it out. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> hey, everybody. We got Sunday Cool. <laughs> 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 cool. Hey, quick replay. That <laughs> wasn't that funny. Hey, go to SundayCool.com. We got a brand new website. And guys, if you want swag, if you want to support the greatest comedy podcast in the world, yeah. Ninjas are butterflies. You just go to SundayCoolSwag.com or you go to SundayCool.com. Check out our merch. Check out our page. Yeah. And then order all your favorite merch. Yes. It's going to be great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Did I, I didn't miss anything, right? I don't know. No, I don't think you missed anything. Perfect. Thanks, man. You miss anything? No. Some of the shit the bubble suck. That's this. What? Don't you say that to me! Josh! Jiao Zhu, Jiao Zhu, Jiao Jiao Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? You're supposed to correct me! What did yeah. you say that needed correcting? <laughs> Just you said anything. you were supposed to, you, you forgot something. That was the whole thing! <laughs> yes. Wasn't that ad fun? Where'd they go? Andy? Lily? Andrew? Oh, no. I have a conspiracy theory that they're trying to phase out monthly contacts. Mm. And make everybody go to dailies. Oh, there you guys are. Yeah. I asked if the ad was fun, but you guys just disappeared, and now you just reappeared. That was Yeah, because you punched me in the face, dude. Yeah, well, that's because you said that really offensive thing in that made-up language. Thanks for defending me, dude. Yeah, of course. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, let me start that. You see that, everyone? Everyone's always like, this would get a 10 out of 10 if the reflection of the clock wasn't in the YouTube button. Yeah. Guess what? I don't want to remove it. Guess what? You commented and helped the algorithm. Guess what? We'll move it someday. Never. Just we ain't ever gonna did, stop. Did you say that we just put the clock here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, do a giant mirror, so it's like mirrors all around it. <laughs> like one of those trifold mirrors. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, crazy times, man. Dude, crazy times, crazy, crazy times. measures. You know what I'm saying? Did you see that? Um, the lady in uh, Plymouth, uh, UK, United mm -hmm. Kingdom, England. She found she was like digging up her garden to like plant something or redo it or something and found a giant World War II German bomb in her backyard <laughs> that had not detonated. And so they had to evacuate the entire town. 10,000 people had to evacuate their homes. It was that massive? It was a, a, from like a B-52 bomber. That's so scary. Big old bomb. <laughs> That's so scary. And so these dudes had to remove it, like dig it up fully, mm -hmm. remove it from the ground, and then they uh, drove it out to the sea and exploded it in the sea. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, that's like. Could you that, imagine like being Batman. the guy? Could you imagine being the guy driving the truck, though? <laughs> yeah, dude, that that's, sucks. I know. I was watching Oppenheimer, and you see how like, 
like how they would have they drop these things and they're so careful i'm like what is dude, that's so scary dude, man this is this is perfect we got to do my reel now because it's straight in line with this conversation he's cutting i you, know you, you can't, can't you cut can't, you can't cut but it has to do with that all right we'll cut fine give us a song there sweetie pie hey sugar lips Dutch. hey oh I, mean, I was talking <laughs> i was looking at you <laughs> Um, hey, hey, that's my wife. <laughs> Listen. Say it again, I promise you. <laughs> Hall and Oates. Who? Hall and Oates. You know, rich girl. Uh, my your kiss is on my list because oh. your kiss, your kiss, <laughs> because Andrew, Andrew has, has a real real for us. us. No, I don't know. Cause you, cause, cause you, cause rich girl. Oh, cause. Because Andrew has. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a riff on. I, dude, this is, what is going on with us lately? We need to change we, this. We, we gotta I, don't, figure out, I don't like this No, anymore. we got to figure out a new way. Someone suggest a way where we can transition to Andrew's thing. Yeah. Maybe we just do saying, when I sing about him, it has to be original each time. Uh, <laughs> we don't, I don't think no. we need two improvised songs in one episode. You're uh, saying say one nice thing or sing one nice thing? Say. Oh. No, <laughs> let's sing. <laughs> oh, Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. You have great looking ankles. He's covering them with a sock. Always makes him look great. You've never seen his ankles. Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> I've seen everyone's yes, ankles. Lil. We have. Okay, I have Andrew, a whole folder. Can you? How do you think it? he got hired? <laughs> Show us some ankles first. All right. All right. There's your desk. Can you pivot to TikTok? Because I can open TikToks in my browser. Wow. See, this is the thing about you people don't, who you like don't know fast what you're from stuff. It's just like someone my age to do. From future for future episodes, I can. It's just deal. you make it an inconvenience for everyone. It's like a vegan over here. It's just like yeah, but can we actually not get that for the table because I'm allergic? It's like what are you doing? It's like him. No one no, no. no. <laughs> Veganism and allergies are die, really die. different. No, that's true. Yeah, you won't. You don't mind if we order cheese. You just don't can't eat it or touch it. Yeah, or yeah. look at it, or you'll die. Smell it. That's the worst. Um, were you, you sent an Instagram? Yeah, it's already been sent. Okay. One sec, one sec, one sec. All right, I got it. Three, two, read one. it. One. Guys, check this out. My package pretty just came in. Demon core release it's radiation really nice like Chern Chernobyl in Channel seconds. Oh, it's, right here, accent piece. it's plutonium. There's no way that's real. It's real. He destabilized the core when it dropped. It's got, I think, beryllium is the name of the other thing that is encasing the plutonium. And as long as it doesn't break the seal, it's fine. It broke. And literally, he just got fried with radiation. And he died? He passed away several days later. No. Yeah. Oh, that is crazy. I was about to make fun of his the way he talked. <laughs> I would, but then I found out he died. And we would never. We would literally never talk about it. <laughs> Josh! Josh! What? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't. I did it. We would never do that. I was making that. fun of somebody else. I was, I was thinking of somebody else when I said that, talked like that. Ugh. What the week, Josh? <laughs> Put <Poor> Josh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Joshua, <laughs> there's so many words he said. That's so funny. It's a freaking radiation. <laughs> what happened to him is not funny. I think I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. <laughs> is, this for, is this freaking Chernobyl right now? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you? Okay, first of all, the guy. What did you expect was going to happen? And you said that. Like a, I don't think it looked like it was. It looked no, like his knew garage. It. He was. He was talking about how awesome it is, and he was like, "Yeah, it's just a cool paperweight." Cool. He's holding it up with a metal rod, as if that's going to be like stable enough to keep that shield closed. That's not cool. Reddit would put that under the category of win stupid prizes award. You know, <laughs> that's horrible. It is terrible. That's awful. Speaking of terrible and awful, <gasps> you know what time it is? 
Question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. Where the questions are first on our mind. Hey, bro. What about questions corner is stupid and awful? I just, it was a segue. We'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ninjas group, as in us four. Yes, ma'am. Gets stranded on an island. Okay. I'm eating Josh. Who's, <laughs> who's the leader? Who organizes everything? And who dies first? Good question. Um, but there's got to be a fourth one, right? One's just floating. One, that's the survivalist. Or, or who's, who's the lone survivor. Or <laughs> yeah. so maybe we all feel bad and we're keeping that person alive. Okay, so who's the leader? The, th- <laughs> the three of us all have. have I, think I'm the or, I think I'm the point. organizer. But that's, you just I think said the three of us. Organizer. I'm definitely a candidate for leadership. I'm no. speaking. To I, think, I think I'm, the, I'm an <laughs> On organizer. On a deserted island? You're in marketing. We're in content. I'm speaking of the working relationship that already exists. I said ninjas group. <laughs> I'm speaking yeah. about this context to apply it to the overall discussion. I'm a candidate for leadership. No. All in favor of Lily not being the leader. <laughs> All in favor of her being the hey! first one to die. <laughs> hey! What? What? I was scratching what? my head. I was scratching my head. Apparently. You, you guys followed my lead. Okay, sure. Yeah, Dang I would it. trust that. Uh, Who's the okay, organizer? I'll be the organizer. I'm the organizer. No, he's definitely an organizer. He's the best at organizing. Okay, first of all, Have you seen okay. Him meal prep. Actually, let's let's be honest. I'm probably the first one that dies <clears throat> because there's going to be like a massive like hole or something. They're like, we got to figure out what's down there. No, you, and then like look, Andy, oh, you're willing. to I'm going to be the first one to die. You guys are going to discover like an airplane that's crashed and it's just full of mac and cheese, and I'm going to be like, <laughs> dang it, I can't eat it. Try. Andrew wakes up like buried in sand, but it's actually just Parmesan cheese. I feel <gasps> like I, I feel like I would die first just because of. All the, like, I think you would panic. That's fair. If we landed on a plane, I think you would panic. No, I keep my cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is an island. Oh, this is oh, pretty this chill. Is pretty, this is pretty chill. We can make something out of this, guys. Follow my lead. I'm gonna Andy, say. Hey, guys, I'm gonna say the two of you are at a disadvantage yeah. because you have to look out for somebody else. Mm. Some would say that's an advantage, but. I don't like this game anymore. Okay, so he's your question. So he's the leader. You're the organizer. You're the one that dies first. What happens to me? You're the cook. <laughs> okay, sure. I think you. I'm the gatherer. <laughs> you're the one that would be like, I'm just going to start swimming, and I'm going to find someone. And you would. I promise <laughs> yeah, you, Johnny you would does. find. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a human though. It's just like <laughs> literally like a mermaid. <laughs> he's right on the back of a mermaid. Guys, guys, I found help. <laughs> You guys are all crying on the beach, just oh. like this is stupid. We're gonna we're never gonna see our families again. Just in the distance, hey! <laughs> scooping across the water. So that was your question, but you seem upset by it. How did you think that was going to play? I out? wanted to be the leader. Mm. Did you think everyone? It's kind of like that Triangle of Sadness movie. Everyone's like, "Who's the leader?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, why uh, do you think? Did you think we were all gonna pick you? I don't know. I thought maybe. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. And so I, it, that'd be the thing because I would like I would want to be the leader, but I wouldn't want to fight to be the leader. So I'd be like, "Easy, yeah. go ahead. Anybody could do it." So I would let you guys fight it uh, uh, out. There together. definitely wouldn't be a leader if it was the four of us either. We just kind of like let's split up and do our own stuff. I think Andy, you do this. Andrew, you do that. I th- you do that. I'll lead. I think you're the first person <laughs> to die, and she ends up being the leader only because you guys fight about being the leader. She pulls out a flare gun, pops you right in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Now who wants to be the leader? I mean, we kind of know. Kimberly, Jim, Kimberly. <laughs> we kind of organizing stuff. <laughs> Hop to it, chef. <laughs> no, we know what would happen because we went camping together. I disappeared and fished for literally three days straight. You organized all the meals and cooked. And everything. I didn't fish at all. I just cooked. <laughs> yeah, and, and then stamps around like. Bigfoot. Yeah. And Josh told people that there were better ways to do the things that they were doing while he sat in a chair. Austin would be our gatherer. Remember them, the horseshoe crab? Yeah. (laughs) For like 30 minutes, and Austin's underwater just feeling this massive crab. I hate those And literally pulling it up, and he lifts it up above his head. It was great. I forgot to say, I wrote in my notes, I have to make a correction from the last podcast. I said that the- Corrections corner. I said that the Septuagint- uh, predated the Greek translation. The Greek translation was the Septuagint. Oh. That's it. Moving on. <laughs> Everyone's deleting their comments now. <laughs> oh. So everyone who disagreed or like or yelled at us. Yeah, or we haven't like even that, read the comments yet. Go back and delete that comment. Yeah. Because we apologized. Yeah. 
I'm not a Bible scholar. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, um, mm. um, mm. you didn't hear a scary story? Please. I love them. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of the uh, Diatlov Pass? Diatlov? Diatlov. No, Diatlov. No, I have not. Diatlov Pass. It was a story in the in 1959. Okay. These nine hikers from Russia went in, uh, on a hiking expedition through the Siberian, wild- Siberian wilderness. Siberia is on top of Russia? It's next to. Okay. Next up. Yeah. It's just a, it's a region of Russia it's now. The, it's there, Alabama. Yeah. Or, oh, or North, in North Dakota. to us. Yeah. No. It's there, Alaska. If Russia is Florida. No. This is so I, funny you said this. I literally this, watched a music if video. Is, if this is Moscow, yesterday, Siberia oh. is up here. Russian so singing Sweet Home yeah, Alabama. So it would be, oh, okay. so be <laughs> like, you did. Well, you at a conference. I will show you right after this. At that conference, <laughs> they showed a clip of Russian singing Sweet Home Alabama. It was the a wild thing. Invisible thread. I know. But this hike, they, um, it was a group of nine kids, really. They're like in their 20s and stuff, college students. Yeah. And went on this hike, this long trek. It was supposed to be like six months or something that they were doing like oh um, research and like all this stuff. So they're students? Yeah, students yeah. of the universities and stuff. Okay. And they were taking pictures, documenting, journaling. Anytime they could, they would write a letter back home and stuff to let them know where they're at to their families and whatnot. And then one day, letter stopped coming in. Didn't hear from them for a while. So they went out there. And I think it took them like two weeks or so to find them. What they found Uh-oh. has led to investigation after investigation. Even to this day, people are still trying to piece together. It's what still exactly open. Happened. Yes, technically. Wow. Okay. Um, some people think that they've proven what happened, but I listened to it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's not as fun. But <clears throat> when they came across the site, they so know this. They're hiking in the dead of winter too. So like the temperatures dropped to like negative thirty degrees where they're at. When they came to the site, the tent had been cut open from the inside out and within the tent there everything was neatly placed they even had food that they were about to eat but it was just left they went out and they're like where are these people they followed these foot tracks and then they saw one dude on the ground i'm going to try to get this right just from remembering one dude on the ground <clears throat> who had third degree burn marks on his legs was like missing half of his sweater and another dude that was up in a tree who had bitten off part of his hand that was also slightly undressed as well. In the tree dead. Yeah. What? So that was two of them. And then they they couldn't find the other uh, group until like spring came to where the snow started to melt. But they found them by like a cave that had like a river in it. And some of them were completely undressed. And uh, two of them, when they tested them, they had sparks of radiation on them. Yeah, I have heard this story. You have? Mm. What? And so there's just all kinds of theories. And like they were like super far away from their campsite or actually not that far away from their campsite, but like they all died of hypothermia basically. But the conditions of what they were left in, yeah, it's like what the heck happened to them, dude. I think I've heard this too. Wasn't there like a couple of people whose faces were all like ripped oh, up? No, yeah. And then there's two people that were found not by the tree, but down by the cave system or whatever. One of the people had both their eyes missing. Oh, and then uh, one of the girls, I believe, had her tongue missing. What in the world was this? What do they? What do they say? There's a lot of theories. <clears throat> one of the theories that was really creepy was there was like one of the last pictures that they took. Mm-hmm. Like in the back, you can see that on the tree line, there's this man-like figure that almost looks like a Bigfoot, just like kind of like peering out of the trees Ew, like this. Stop, Joshua. <clears throat> That's what I'm just saying what they saw. Dude, can I tell my Bigfoot theory? Yeah, let me let me yeah, yeah, do yeah. this real quick though. So, um, and then my favorite theory, which is a crazy one was supposedly the same night because they were able to date back to the time that they died, the night that they died. <clears throat> um, locals that were close to where they were camping, like in the Siberian wilderness, mm-hmm. reported seeing orange orbs hovering in the sky and like circling in the sky. That's weird. And then another camp group or uh, campers that were camping 50 kilometers away 
reported the same incidents where they were calling them UFOs. Yeah. But, but these orange orbs floating in the sky. And one of their last pictures that they took this group was a picture of the sky with weird lights in the sky. Dude. Yeah. That's okay. That was in 1959. 1959. Tongues out, eyeballs out, radiation. One of them bit his finger off. And the st- the tent wasn't like torn apart. He cut open. There was with no. The knife. There was no from the cu- inside. Cut open with a knife from the inside people, going out. People so, get fixated on that part because I wonder. I wonder what happens to the mind when you're going through the throes of hypothermia. Typically, you get undressed. That's actually one right. one scenario to where it's like yeah, when you start getting that. hypothermia, you, your body all of a sudden like last resort overheats, and so they get hot and take off their clothes. But some of them. It was like a sleeve was cut off, but one of those dead people that were by the cave system was wearing that sleeve. So it was oh, like somebody weird. was trying to dress them. Yeah, or like, it's like, the, or, they, or, they like or they like died, and then they're like they're freezing, so they cut off articles of clothing to wear for themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and maybe like the people that were missing extremities or something like that, maybe they were starting to lose their minds from the cold. And they're oh. like trying, they're like it's like they think it's burning. Yeah. They, well, another thing was too that I forgot to mention. One of the people that by the cave system, their head was completely crushed in, Ooh. but not by a blunt object. What? So what it, does that it, even mean? Like How do they like know that? Literally imploded. smushed. <gasps> yeah. What in the and world? so one guy, this is what I saw from the Y files because I watched a bunch of videos about this. But the Y files, uh, this one guy, the weirdest thing ever. He watched the movie Frozen. Okay. Right. And he saw the way, like, this one scene where the ice fell a certain way. He's like, that's interesting. And so he got with, like, the animators of Disney or something and, like, went out to the site. This was, like, uh, 2015 or something. Went out to the site and, like, mapped out the elevation of the mountain, the snowfall during that time. And there's this, um, it's it's an avalanche, but it's called something. It's, like, a very shallow avalanche. Mm. But it's, like, if there's powdered snow a thick layer of ice that had melted and like then froze again, then powered snow on top of it. Mm. It can create almost like a sheet to where it just slides like that. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't have the effects of an avalanche, but it would just go like you like could on, say on top of a roof. Yeah. Like or just like, like it, it could, or could like hit the tent or something yeah. like that. And they could have gotten pinned in there or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he said with that force, there was enough force from that, even if it slid four feet, it could completely crush your skull. Because it's so dense. It's yeah. So but heavy. how did she end up way far away? Yeah. How did he end up in a tree? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess he could climb, but like, I, uh, uh, hypothermia sounds like the best thing. Like, they're just like madness. Like, they just went fully crazy. But all yeah. of them at the same time with radiation? Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. The radiation is the weird part. Yeah. Like, what's the they're, photo? They're, they're, like, do um, they, have you seen it? Like, of the orb thing? Or no, the, oh, the man. The man. Yeah, look it up. You can look oh, it up. Oh, I don't want to see it. Um, what's, but, what's the name of the event? Uh, the uh, uh, Dyatlov. It's D Y A T L O V. Pass. Man. Um, but one of the explanations that they used for the um, radiation was like one or two of those guys worked at a nuclear facility like in the off season or something. But I, I don't know. That was just like, that's, that's a pretty far connection or whatever. <clears throat> but people were starting to like dive deeper and deeper into it. And yeah, that. That's sketchy. Yeah. No, thank you. So that's what, in one of their pictures, if they're interdimensional Bigfoots, right? Yeah. Do they, ca- they do they carry tra- um, radiation? It's possible. I mean, well, no, a lot of people that have these UFO encounters, like, or they'll see the light, like an orb or something. Yeah. They get radiation burns on them. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Freaking radiation. <laughs> it's, <fun. laughs> it's wild stuff. Um, That's so scary, you guys. But like, I want to talk about Bigfoot. Well, this is the You're rapid, fine. wrapping You're it fine. up thing. That was, a, that was a for fun picture. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They're just goofing off. A bunch of goofy goobers. Um, the Soviet Union, as the investigation started going further and further in, like it was like a year to three years in, mm-hmm. this UFO thing started coming out, like these orbs and stuff, and they put the kibosh on everything. They said, "Shut it down. You're not allowed to research this any longer." In fact, this site where they camped 
restricted. You can't go there anymore. Dude, come yeah. on. Yeah, we so need answers. We need answers. Get to the bottom of it. Investigate until we have an actual solution. Like, I mean, a not solution, but just a just uh, an answer. Yeah. 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 I got to blow my nose. Okay. Three, two. Much yeah, um, I don't. I feel like I'm coming down with something. Or I don't know if I'm just tired or my throat's getting kind of icky, but I feel. Uh oh, something's in the air. Um, Bigfoot. In the air. Bigfoot. I mean, so I was editing that reel on the Sierra Sounds mm -hmm. um, earlier this week, and so I'm, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm chopping up the different bits, and I started like while I'm doing this, they say like Bigfoot is imitating the humans that are speaking to it but that clip starts out with like the like monkey sounding kind of like a howler monkey yeah going back and forth and then out of nowhere it switches right they start doing the it goes from like woo to like right so i started like oh my homeland i mean what the place i want to visit one day but you, you start to think about, like, if a Bigfoot is imitating humans, in what context would Bigfoot have had the chance to study humans, right? And so if you're like, it, it'd probably be encounters where somebody's doing something like, if you saw a bear, you'd be like, hey, bear, hey, hey, hey. You know, you'd be making kind of like a bigger, weird human voice. And then if the encounter turned physical and confrontational, you would have, you would have people screaming you would have in the stories of like faces being I'll just ripped up defaced you'd like what would that Face off. what would that sound like so just picture a monster bigfoot giant creature putting hands on somebody you would hear someone screaming you would hear gurgling from mm -hmm. someone dying so, so they're yeah just learning from experience at that point now with that thought process <clears throat> listen to this clip i cut this straight out of the sierra sounds okay That's like really loud. Didn't sound as clear coming through we'll, my phone. We'll play it. I'll through play. The thing. I'll, I'll edit it. It sounds like oh my god, and then yeah, I kind of heard. I kind of heard the oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. weird. That's oh, that's so eerie, dude. I don't like that at all. This is a really scary episode. <laughs> it is now. It wasn't at the beginning, was it? No, no. you made it scary with your story. Uh, 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 uh. Prepare to be scared. Yes. <laughs> you you started the Disney Doomsday stuff. So yeah, what's even, up? Come on. That's not that's kind of light scary. No, you you open the door. <laughs> no. You let it you floodgates in. Disney no. was the gate. Read his notes, does it say something pass in it? Nope. <laughs> Um, scary. Yeah, but and you're scary. It's terrifying. <laughs> I do love the Bigfoot stuff. I always thought it was just a bunch of baloney, but like, there's just uh, the more we look into it, there are the there is more and more stories that have no explanation. So it's like, yeah, it may be something else that the government is hiding, but it also like, and Bigfoot may be way off base, but it's like until you tell us different and show us proof of what why these things are happening. What else are we supposed to do? We come up to our own conclusions. Yeah. And it's Bigfoot, interdimensional, and lizard people. Yeah. 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 It's that simple. Come on, guys. <laughs> yep. Come on. You know, and all this Use your like, heads. Come on. All of this um, supernatural spooky talk reminds me of, and maybe this is a age difference between all of us, but on maybe Cartoon Network or something else, they used to have a show called Truth or Scare. Truth or Scare. Okay. When I was a kid, you guys, did you oh, watch it? No, I never heard of it. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah. Was it a that cartoon? Was, was it a cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> that was no, it was up. like a, it had a host and it was like a little docu whatever talking okay. about like Bigfoot and aliens. It reminds me of, uh, do, you, do you ever watch Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction? Yeah. <sighs> those ones. He, do you ever see that? Yeah. Oh man. Tell them those like four stories. And you can always guess like which one's real. Which yeah. One's, yeah. Like, it blow. We need to go back and look at some of those because those are some of the crazy stories. Yeah. The true ones and we can retell them, look into them. Speaking of stories though. Hit me. I have a story. Hit me. You know how we talked about that one lady that like went into a coma or something, and woke up with like an I or a Irish accent. Or yeah, yeah. Was it yeah, Irish? It was, no, it was an Asian accent. Oh, it? Asian accent. Yeah, that's what or it the was. The girl in Britain. Yeah. <clears throat> what if you were to become unconscious and wake up, not only with a different accent, but right. believing that you're someone from the past? 
oh, that you didn't tough. even know who it was. Oh, but you identified with that person. Some would say reincarnation, but I don't believe in reincarnation. I think that's a bunch of doo doo. So you go in surgery and you come out. You're not even. And going you to are. Surgery. Oh, you just wake up one day, and you you're a, a different coma. person. Dorothy Ed. Oh, this is a real story. This is a real story. Oh, this is a hypothetical. Not a hypothetical. That hit me. Okay, this lady, Dorothy Edie, was born in 1904. Okay. In 1907, when she was three years old, she tripped down a flight of stairs oh, no. and was pronounced dead by a doctor who came to their home. And so they laid her on her bed, and she had been laying there for however long as they are downstairs, like, figuring out what they were going to do for the funeral and stuff. All of yeah. a sudden, they heard her in her room. No. And they walk up there, alive and well, playing on her bed. <gasps> And when she started talking, they noticed that she had a strange accent that they couldn't identify. And for months to years after that, she would wake up from these, what they would call night terrors, where she was having these dreams of a home with pillars and stuff like that. And she says, I want to go back home. I want to go back home. And they're like, what are you talking Like, what are you talking about? So weird. When she was four years old, they brought her to the British Museum. Mm-hmm. And she was just like just a four year old in a museum, just kind of bored and stuff. Have the time of their life. <laughs> and then when they went to the part of Egypt, Uh-oh. her eyes lit up and she ran over to one of the mummies and her mom ran over there and like she started like bowing down and stuff. And then the mom's like, What are you doing? She said, These are my people. What? And then further into the museum, she saw a picture of was it the temple of Seti, S E T I. And she said, that's my home. And they're like, okay, you're yeah. four. You're kind of yeah, like sure. you're freaking us out a yeah. little bit. But she was obsessed. She's like, that's my home, but it looks different. There used to be a garden and trees and like all this stuff. Never lost the obsession that she she felt like this temple in Egypt, the temple of Seti, mm-hmm. I'm, I hope I'm saying that right, Yeah, was her home. In fact, she was so obsessed with Egypt that she ended up, getting trained by someone at the museum because she would always go into the museum and like look at the Egyptian artifacts. Mm -hmm. This uh, Egyptologist that worked for the museum um, ended up teaching her how to read hieroglyphics, all this stuff. Um, And then she, it was in 19, what was it? uh, 1940s, I think. She ended up uh, moving to Egypt and marrying an Egyptian man. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out, whatever, because she... They said that she was acting more Egyptian than the family she was married into. And they're basically like, you're chill. Yeah. Chill. Doing whatever. It's like when um, someone moves to Florida and they pretend to be like more Floridian. Mm. Mm. What am I doing that's more Floridian? <laughs> I'm not calling you. Don't out. do that. No, don't don't do throw that. stones. Alo- okay, Literally. okay, lady. You're from Joplin. <laughs> what am I doing Whoa. that's making it like act like I'm fl- from Florida? Changing what have I your, ever seen? Changing your driver's license. How dare you? Um, you have to legally. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know this. But in the 1950s, she was hired by Egypt for, uh, for the Department of Antiquities mm-hmm. because she was obsessed with going to these uh, ruins and like doing her own archaeology kind of stuff. And uh, so she was hired by the Department of Antiquities. Um, and one of the, the heads of the department thought she was just full of crap basically yeah and brought her to the temple of seti which she claimed was her home and it was still like barely excavated like it was like you could there's like some parts that were open he knew the layout though of this place and they went at dark or in the at night they had a torch and he said okay show me or walk me to where this thing is in the temple no way straight there and he kept on doing it they did it for hours Bring me to where this place is. Mm-hmm. Brought him straight there. And he did this six times and she nailed it every single time. And so he's like, this is weird. Yeah. This is super weird. And she's like, actually, this one part, she said, that, that used to be the garden. She said, you should dig here. You're going to find the garden. Sure enough, they dug down <laughs> and there was an ancient garden there like that had been buried. And then she's like, well, what was the other one? <clears throat> Yeah, so there's the garden, and she just kept on doing that. Like, if you dig here, you're gonna find this. If you if you dig here, you're gonna find this. Yeah, and then, but she would make claims of like, um, under the feet of the Sphinx, there's a library, uh, ancient library that's under the feet of the Sphinx. 
but they will not excavate that. Like they will not dig down. Yeah. But do you remember it was um, whatever the um, Egyptologist guy is. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I a forget his name. He's a booger, right? Yeah. yeah. Someone claimed to have found a tunnel that leads under the Sphinx, but he closed it off. He's like, no, yeah. no, you can't go down there. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But she also said, well, before this was a common thing, she said, yeah, the Sphinx was before my time too. It was created ages. Like it's more ancient than ancient Egypt. And she said the head of the Sphinx was different as well. And they ended up changing it over time. Interesting. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, and so she lived there. She's passed away since then, but people were claiming that she was just crazy. And but she she legit. I mean, what you can't deny if they, if that's I mean if that historian or whatever the guy is the guy that dug up all that stuff is he if he's confirming it. I mean, how else would she know? Yeah, how how, how could she possibly know? And people claim that she made uh, claims that were not true as well. Okay, so it's kind of you have to balance a little bit if if you're nailing like certain like yeah there's a garden right here and it's just sand things that are impossible to know yeah. yeah but her consciousness would have only been three years old right when it entered that little girl no oh so i forgot to say this she um she figured out through dreams or something what she was she was a priestess within the temple Mm, from her so just memory life. memories just like yeah. came to her so interesting it sounds more like a case of some weird egyptian possession that's what i was getting to like i think i don't believe in reincarnation but i do believe <laughs> no mm. um but i do believe that the spirit realm can manipulate and deceive very easily and if they've been around since forever yeah you know they mm. have a lot of knowledge of where stuff is and all that and they're good at deception you know they so are. it's like so it's going to make you believe whatever you want to believe and like let's just let's go down this rabbit hole if there is an ancient library with ancient texts possibly you know like fallen angel stuff and they were loving the perversion of creation it would mm -hmm. make sense that they were trying to have somebody uncover yeah what had been hidden yeah I know also because I think it's being hidden because that guy, whoever I, I need I, to look at, I forget his name. I've talked about him before. We talked about him on the Bosnian period, yeah, pyramid. Um, but his whole thing is like preserving his ideals of like, well, the Egyptians did this, the Egyptians did that. But if there's evidence that comes out that disputes it, Zahi Hawass. That's it. Okay, Zahi. I should have remembered that. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> um. But yeah, if there's stuff that comes out, if there's a library that disproves what he's been preaching for all these years about ancient Egypt, he's going to look like a a fool. Yeah, but there we just saw before we started this, they're doing some reconstruction to the pyramids, to oh. one of the pyramids. Like they're literally like building up, they're trying to get it back to its original state, and so they're putting like it looks like they're putting blocks on top of the original ones. I'm like, why? Yeah, how do, how do we do it? Yeah. You guys, everyone needs to go listen to. I'm on, I, there's every episode now. I'm just gonna point them towards an episode of Blurry Creatures. Why not? But they just had a dude on that talked about he has or has found evidence pointing that the pyramids acted as places where they did like chemical stuff, like. Yeah, like <laughs> reactors, right? Yeah, like or no, it, he's like everyone's always claimed that it was made for electricity and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like no, but they actually mined like chemical components from the earth using these pyramids. Well, that would validate yeah. that. Remember that story you told where they it's like that hike that you can't take somewhere, and there are two pyramids, and there was this lake, two different lakes. Oh yeah, the one in China. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's very similar. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hey, yay. Good job. Go listen to that episode. <laughs> I like ninety percent of the it. merch. Oh yeah, Blurry Creatures. Yeah, Luke and Nate are the best, and we're gonna do a part two of Blurry and Ninjas, hopefully very soon. And then maybe one day, when that comes out, we won't say the name. But he's a famous. He's a famous person. He's a famous Canadian, person, Canadian. and we're trying to hook it up. We're trying to make it happen. In contact, you guys will love love this guest it's happening yeah. like it's confirmed on both sides we just got to pick a date it's joe so, rogan it's okay, joe, it's rogan, joe rogan um it's joe biden he's moving <laughs> really famous what are, you, what are you doing 
<laughs> Dude, he would be so confused on this podcast. <laughs> no offense to him. He'd be, he'd be like, I'm out <laughs> instantly. I bet you we could pressure him to where we could, like, he could really, like, tell us everything about aliens. So that he knows. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just give him an ice cream cone. He'd be fine, dude. <laughs> You guys, you guys. Hey, listen, you give me an ice cream cone. I'll tell you any secret I have, okay? Yeah, but that's I have more, but I want to talk about it on Patreon. Because we don't have time. So we have to continue on Patreon. I have a Tom Cruise conspiracy too. Oh. Yes. yes. Um, but, okay, guys, we've had some people say that um, we don't like ads. Well, guess what? Patreon's ad free, baby. Yeah. Except for the Sunday cool ads. We always put those in there because we have fun with those. Yeah, because that's that's without it, the podcast wouldn't exist. Yeah. So, so. Uh, go to patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies where it's ad free podcast and you get yep. a, uh, early access to them and then you get an additional episode every week behind the scenes stuff, live Q&A, which we just did one last week. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we and uh, all that fun stuff. Discounts on merch. Yeah. It's a great time. You guys want more of this stuff? That's how you get it. Just go to patreon.com forward slash ninjas of butterflies. And uh, we're just wanting to put out more and more content. Thanks for the million subscribers. And because yep. of that, we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep, keep growing, growing, baby. Keep growing, baby. Keep growing, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Uh, make sure to like us and everything. Five stars, please. Guys, if you comment, if you like this video, if you subscribe, it literally helps the algorithm. It yeah. literally pushes this podcast to other people. So even if it's a just, I mean, just compliment me. Yeah. And just, tell me why I'm just, funnier than Josh. Or just comment, I'm doing this for the algorithm. Yeah. Or yeah. tell us your favorite part of the pod. Yeah. Or say who's the best, who would who's you choose funniest? as a leader and who's the funniest. Or who's dying first. Yeah, or who looks the most Hawaiian. Or tell us the last person that you know that did die. Or tell us anyone that you know that has claimed to be reincarnated. Or tell us anyone that you know that was potentially involved in this camping trip in Russia in 1959 when Bro. they all disappeared mysteriously. Or tell us any time, you know, like your great like Salisbury steak recipe. Yeah. Tell us. Mm. Comment below, please. What? Didn't, didn't you think that the Anunnaki was Egyptian deity? Uh... No, I didn't think Anunnaki was an Egyptian deity. I thought it was... Or they were the they're Sumer pre they're the predecessors Sum to... Yeah, the, well, the Anunnaki was uh, from the Samaritans, or uh, Sumerians, sorry. Okay, never yeah. mind. Made a connection about? in my head. We'll talk more about it on Patreon. Yep. Wink, wink, wink. Wink, 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 wink. Okay, I love what's you the, guys. What's the, what's the noise that you made at the beginning? Shanghai noon? Oh. Very <laughs> We already did? Yeah. All right. We got a letter from Isaiah Richmond. Boo, 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 boo. I've been telling my asshole. Mm -hmm. All right. We got a long letter, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Ninja crew. My name is Isaiah, and I have listened to you guys for a long time. I love the conspiracy jokes and that happened that happened in the episode. A little bit of more mouth about me. <laughs> I'm a high school senior at McKeel Christian Academy. Hey. Don't. No stalkers. I am 17 and somehow know how to write a letter even using stamps. I have enlisted <laughs> in the Air Force. Thank you for your service. Where I hope to become a parachute jumper. You're you speaking to a few was it you're speaking to a future are you disrespecting <laughs> like the future, future <laughs> soldier, American US soldier? <laughs> What's um, that? That old oh, the, vine. Oh. Vine's so good. Oh. If you don't know uh, what that is, look it up. I live in a cold, miserable place called New York. Hey, me and my sister were born on the same day, but three years apart. I'm older. That's kind of I mean, That's one, wild. One in 365. Those are the odds, I guess. Uh, I was about to say, what are the odds of that? Pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> um, I love the podcast, and I can't wait to see you guys. what God um, will do with it. Love you guys. Isaiah Richmond, out. If you want something funny to read, order the Gen Z Bible off of Amazon. No Wait a thanks. second. No thanks, pal. You know we no. invented the Gen Z Bible <laughs> translation, right? They don't know that. Not, not everyone not knows the this. Full, not the full Bible that they're selling now, but we started it. Yeah, and then we got canceled. <laughs> and then now this is like people, mega church preachers are pulling it up. And they're like, isn't this cute? Isn't, I, I, th I isn't find it a little funny? heretical. Absolutely, I do. Yeah. I think they should be imprisoned. Hey. Death penalty. Hot take. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.